101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use custom CSS classes for blocks. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to actually go to the blog page, and I'm going to go into Headway in the Manage Mode. I'm using Manage Mode because we're going to use the CSS file so you can see it clearer as opposed to design mode with the live CSS, which is sort of tiny when you make when I make screencasts. Okay, so we're in the visual editor, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this widget block and open up the block options. My internet is slow, so give it a minute. Here we go. Go to config, and here it says custom CSS classes, and we can type anything we want in here. So I'm going to type blue box. And that's going to be my class for making blocks blue. And I'm going to hit save and view site. Okay. Now, if we look at the source code for this particular block, you can see here that our class has been added blue box. Do not put, um, do not put like a, a hash symbol. Do not put the pound sign in here. Um, don't put a period and don't put like straight CSS code. Just put the name of your CSS class and if you need to use multiple words, uh, use a hyphen. It's the best practice. Okay. I'm also going to plot yeah, sorry, I'm also going to apply this class to a brand new block. So I'm gonna go to grid, leave this page because I didn't make any changes. And give it a minute because sometimes my internet lately doesn't want to work. But while we're doing that, while it's loading, I'm going to go over to my style.css file, which is in a child theme. This is actually the style.css file for schematic, which is a child theme framework that you can pick up at headway101.com. Um, you sort of just fill in the blanks and you can customize your website. But we're going to add something to the bottom. I'm going to do body.custom.bluebox. Uh, background blue. And I'm going to save that. Now, okay, cool, it loaded. I'm going to add, uh, let's say, just a, a custom code box. And it's type something in here. This is custom code. Yay. All right. Let's reload again. As you can see, our box with the class blue box is now bright blue. And if I go back into the visual editor and I have the custom code block block options opened and go to config and type in blue box and hit save, it'll apply the same styling to this custom code. And so now that box is blue. If I go back to the style.css file, and make changes, so I don't know, color, white, border, one pixel, solid, yellow. Let's make this as eye grading as possible. Um, both of the blocks will change because they have this class associated with them. I don't think you can actually see the little yellow border. It's pretty heinous. Uh, but if I go back into the visual editor, and I remove the custom class, this is from the custom code block. I've got it open. I'm removing the custom class. And hit save, uh, and I reload. It will go back to normal. So that's how you use custom classes. This is pretty good for if you want to highlight certain blocks in the same way, but you don't want to customize them all by CSS or using the visual editor. Um, if you need to remove padding consistently for different types of blocks, but you don't want to do it manually, like stuff like that. That's when you would use uh, custom CSS classes, but it's not a feature that you'll run into often unless you're doing some heavy customization. Be sure to check out headway101.com for more Headway Themes basics. My name is Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.